Dr. Dean Radin believes that his studies into consciousness suggest that evil, disruptive, or violent thoughts may pollute the social fabric in the same way that pollutants affect the environment. In both cases, the pollution extends beyond the local social or physical environment and can even spread throughout the entire globe. He also compares evil or malevolent thinking to a virus, which he calls a cyvirus. Like its biological counterpart, the cyvirus can multiply, spread, and infect others. The deadly difference between the two is that the cyvirus can act at a distance and can quickly encircle the globe with its destructive effects. He believes that world wars may be an indicator of mass mind infections. According to Raiden, global violence and aggression may have an underlying causality. Heretofore unsuspected, the chaotic and malevolent thoughts of many people around the world. Raiden cites the example of jihad or holy war believed as just by millions worldwide. Dr. Radin admits that all this may seem far-fetched to those not well-versed in the study of consciousness, but he doesn't back down from his claims, nor should he. The scriptures explicitly support the idea that in the latter days, the entire world, except for the faithful saints, will be of one mind filled with darkness and corruption. The Apostle John saw and recorded in his revelation the mother of harlots riding upon a scarlet beast. It is with this great whore, all the inhabitants will be made drunk with the wine of her fornication. They have drunken the same wine she has drunken, which is the blood of the saints. That is, they have been filled and overcome with her intent to kill the saints. They're all of the same purpose or mind. The imagery of the horns of the beast make this unity of mind explicit. The Greek translated as mind in the King James Version is no may. It can be translated as mind, resolve, purpose, or intent. These kings and those that follow them, the inhabitants of the earth, are united in a single cause. They have reached a full unity or coherence of intent. This mental coherence of evil intent, also called corrupt minds, will be near universal in the latter days. All flesh will become corrupt, bringing the vengeance of the Lord. This infection of the mind will also corrupt the Lord's church. He will destroy all those who have blasphemed him in his own house. The leaders and members of his church will become subject to the same scarlet beast of blasphemy as the rest of the world. 
That is why they must be destroyed as well. In short, Satan will have a great hold upon the hearts and minds of men, stirring them to rebellion against the good.